In this lecture, we will address the test process topic. Let's first understand what the test process is. A test process is the set of interrelated activities comprising of test planning, test monitoring and control, test analysis, test design, test implementation, test execution, and test completion. For the time being, just remember the definition. We will address each of these activities in detail in an upcoming lecture. Now the second question is, what is the need for the test process? As we know, in a team we have people from different backgrounds. They all possess different skill sets, different roles, a different approach, and they may think their approach is the best. Though they are culturally and technically diverse, they all have to achieve the common objective. And to fulfill these test objectives, each one of us may have different ways. If we all apply our own ways in an organization, then it is difficult to control, and it is less likely to achieve test objectives. That is the reason we need a common process, which everyone should follow as a guideline to achieve the different test objectives. Under this syllabus, we have to cover four subtopics. The first topic is explain the impact of context on the test process. Here, we will come to know what are the different factors that influence the test process. The second topic is describe the test activities and respective tasks within the test process. Here, I will explain each of the test activities in detail. The third topic is differentiate the work products that support the test process. We have seven common test activities. After each test activity, we will get the output, which is referred to as a work product. In this topic, we need to remember which work product belongs to which activities. The last topic is explain the value of maintaining traceability between the test basis and test work products. Here we will learn about traceability.